Hello YouTube, Matt Eager not here. Uh, as you can see there's a bunch of tools lined up right there on my improvised license plate anvil if you will. Because they're going to be needed to get this and this back into shape. As you can see, this one here, the Alabama one, is not just a semi-truck plate, but uh, it's greased, big time, right here. You can still see part of Florida right there. So, tools you need to reshape plates. If the plate's embossed, You'll need a flathead screwdriver, preferably a trade size, so that way you can get the embossing letters and numbers. Here, I'll grab one for example. But... Like for example, um, like for Pilgrim 11, this is an embossed plate as you can see, and you would basically chase the letter along the line, or number, whatever the case is, but you would chase it along the line where there's dents and creases. No sense I'm not doing those. Okay, so trade screw, side screw, size screwdriver, for flathead for uh, numbers and letters uh, re-embossing. Another thing you will need is a hammer of some kind for flattening and leveling out the plate. A mini adjustable wrench. Some call it a crescent wrench. And then you would need basically a pair of channel locks to uh, grab hold of big heavy bends like what you see in this one here you can see the big heavy bend there and with that we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get started with reshaping Alabama As you can see, I just brought that back. And as you can see, it's pretty well straight again straight or rather. I mean you could tell that this was a roadkill because it looks like it's been in the ground for quite a while. Now As you can see, I'm pretty much getting that roadkill flattened out pretty quick.
as you can see it's looking already way better this was all completely bent over you you saw it before I started them within like five minutes or so I got it pretty well leveled out I'll do more work on that after I get it completely cleaned up, but now we have Escambia, Florida, which is, as you can see, it's got a bunch of dents in it, so for this, we work from the back. And like I said, you can see on the number nine where it's been creased. So, Florida one takes a little while because it's an embossed one and as you can see I knocked that number back out. I gotta repeat the process several times over for different numbers and letters within the plate. This is FI945RS Cambium, Florida, and the expiration was December of 2003. It's a passenger vehicle plate. I have Polk County up on the wall, and that is a uh, trailer plate. Being that that is set, this plate is not going to end up on on display on the on the wall because, as you can see, it's in very poor shape compared to this event I gotta grab it off the wall. As opposed to Polk County, Florida, which is a trailer plate, as you can see. The month is here on this one here for the passenger, but being that this one is a trailer plate, it's a permanent wedge, and as you can see, there is no gouges in the orange like you see on this one. And you can still see all the ribbing that's right in this area here all this so you can see that there's a lot of work that has to be done on the plate versus this one which is darn near mint it's got a couple scratches here a couple dings and dents in the orange there but other than that it's completely fine To do that. 
โอเคAs you can see, it's starting to come back into shape. Now the mini adjustable wrench, like the crescent wrench, that's for uh, pulling purposes. So you saw what the channel locks are for. I'm not going to do as much on this one, but basically you you would grab the plate on the side there and like I demonstrated before you would basically pull this anyway I'm not going to bore you guys with reshaping these over and over again because as you know reshaping metal takes a long time as for It'll look even better once it's clean, but... Uh, and the video there. Uh, you saw it earlier, they didn't sit very level. And now they sit fairly okay. But yeah, like I said, tools you need are a basic hammer, the claw hammer will do just fine. Channel lock of some kind, preferably like needle nose or whatever. Like that. Uh, as I've already said, uh, adjustable crescent wrench doesn't need to be very big because all you're doing is using it for stretching the ring around the side of a plate. And then, 
a trade size flathead screwdriver for knocking the numbers or letters back into shape. So that's another license plate restoration video and hope you guys enjoyed watching it. them takes a lot of time uh, you guys just watched a 15 minute video of two being restored uh, so thanks for watching please comment rate subscribe